We're going to be talking about colorimetric analysis today and the steps that you need to complete the report form for this lab. So just as an overview, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to determine the unknown metal nitrate. And the way that you're going to do that is look at the overall spectra. You're going to see where in the spectra the peak of the absorbance is. And this is what we call lambda max. By be comparing where that lambda max is, to your unknown, that will help you determine which of the metal, the known metal nitrates, your unknown is. The way that we determine the unknown concentration is we're going to have to construct a calibration curve and we're going to use Beer's Law. And in case you've never heard of Beer's Law before, the equation is the absorbance is equal to epsilon bc so a equals epsilon bc the a stands for absorbance which has no units epsilon is the molar absorptivity and this changes depending on the type of solution that you have as well as the wavelength that you're measuring at b is the path length and most of the time the cuvettes the the little cells that you use to make measurements with, they are usually one centimeter long so that the path length isn't an essential part of the equation. And finally, the concentration. C is concentration, which is what we're measuring, and this is measured in moles per liter. And that's what we're going to be finding for our unknown is our concentration. Now the way that we find the unknown concentration is we have to start by preparing standards of a known concentration. The known concentration, you're going to be starting with a stock solution that you know its concentration and this needs to be prepared of the same metal nitrate that your unknown is. So we want to pick the same metal nitrate, either copper, cobalt, or nickel. We're going to use the dilution equation in order to figure out what our new concentrations are because we're going to make different concentrations that, so that we can see what the absorbance is of those different concentrations. We'll measure the absorbance and we'll plot that on our calibration curve. We will make a calibration curve by plotting concentration in molarity, in our case, and absorbance on the y-axis. Now, when we make this calibration curve, you'll notice that we get a line, an equation of the line. When we know the equation of the line, that helps us by measuring the absorption or the absorbance of our diluted unknown, we can use that equation in order to figure out what the concentration is. And that will be of our diluted unknown. To calculate the undiluted concentration, we're again going to have to use our dilution equation to figure out what the concentration is before we added the water. So these are the steps that you're going to need in order to do the calculations and to fill out your Excel sheet for the calorimetric analysis.